ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Eterly Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Juice Giang for another episode of K-Check. Ang K-Check ay para sa mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Ang tanong, kaya ba ng ating contestants ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season? Ang mga may kaya ng workout na yan aabot hanggang final week of competition at isa sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants mula sa UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Dominic is an applied physics student who hobbies are cycling, working out, and digital art. Vince is a BS geography student who has a love-hate relationship with cooking but is fond of eating. He believes that acting like a main character every day boosts his confidence. Robe is a student filmmaker, theater collaborator, science enthusiast, and Mindanaoan hailing from Surigao City. And get a load of this, on the streets as means for conversations and social change. Althea is a second year student. She was a former Asian Studies major at UST. Her hobbies include learning foreign languages and world religions. She also likes watching anime. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Next, we have Assistant Professor Bernard Caslib from the Department of Social Sciences, College of Arts and Sciences from UP Manila. And finally, we have a multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus teaching film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, this is round one. Make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by the host. Otherwise, your answers might not be given any credit, even if they're correct. Correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Question number one. What do you call the embalmed body in ancient Egypt that is treated with Althea? Mommy. Let me proceed with the question. That is treated with dressed and wrapped in linen bandages. You said mommy. That's correct. Kate check. Question number two. In what U.S. city can you find Central Park, the Museum of Modern Art? Althea. New York. Let me proceed. Empire State Building and Broadway. You said New York. That's correct. Kate check. Question number three. What word may mean a whole tennis contest, a counterpart or small wooden stick used to ignite a fire? Althea. Torch. Torch is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is match. Question number four. In what Philippine island can you find the provinces of Quirino and Quezon. Rome. Uh, Ireland. Luzon. Luzon is correct. K-check. Question number five. Chorizo, subli, and bratwurst are types of what food made of minced meat encased in skin? Althea. Sausage. Sausage is correct. K-check. Question number six. How many years are there in 60 months? Dominic. Uh, five. Five is correct. K-check. Question number seven. As it was, made it to number six in the top global hit list for 2023. Althea. Harry Styles. Let me proceed with the question. Bilis mo dun, Which member of One Direction recorded As It Was? You said Harry Styles. That's correct. K-check. Question number eight. Fusa Tatsumi was the oldest living person on Earth until she passed away at the age of 119 in December 2023. In what country did Fusa Tatsumi rope? Japan. Let me proceed. Reside until her death. You said Japan. That's correct. K-check. Question number nine. In elementary math, what number is exactly between 3.5 and 7.5? Althea. 5.5. 5.5 is correct. K-check. Question number 10. In art, 
What is the general term for a painting or drawing that the artist makes of himself? Self-portrait. Self-portrait is correct. Hey, check. So, this is a selfie. <laughs> Question number 11. What is the Spanish term for the holy child that is being honored in Cebu's annual Sinulo Festival? Ro. Santo Nino. Santo Nino is correct. Okay, check. Final question for this round. Number 12. What previously unbeatable video game involving falling blocks? Dominic. Tetris. Let me proceed. Falling Blocks was finally beaten by a 13-year-old Willis Gibson in January 2024. You said Tetris. That's correct. Kate check. And that's it for round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. After that round, we have, yes, Altea in the lead with 50 points, followed by Robe with 40, Dominic with 20, and Vince with some catching up to do. Pero siguro, it's time to find out a little more about our contestants. So, Dominic, para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ano nga ba ang applied physics at anong karera ang meron para sa mga nag-aaral at eventually mag-graduate sa kursong ito? So, applied physics is basically a course where you can apply the physics of everyday living. And the uh, course opportunities are practically anywhere that involves uh, instrumentation and laboratories. Interesting. Okay. Maraming salamat, Dominic. Ngayon naman si Vince. Nako, Vince, maraming nakaka-relate sa hobby mo. Ang eating. Pero mas maganda siguro na i-explain mo yung confidence-boosting technique mo of acting like a main character. Di ba yung main character na yung very Gen Z's lang? Ano yun? Palagi bumibida. O, oh, Vince? <laughs> um, ano po kasi, uh, very, ano po talaga ako, uh, walang, uh, walang tiwala sa sarili, uh, laging kinakabahan. Then, for the second year, I said na, um, let's bring that main character energy. Uh, lagi kong pinapanood si Al Woods, si Re Regina George, and yung Regina George ng India si Pooja. So, every time na I walk around the campus, feeling ko, ako lang. Ako yung pinaka-bida sa lahat ng, <laughs> lahat so, ka, ng students sa campus. Pero hindi ka naman masyadong kinakabahan. So, I guess that technique of yours must be working. Ngayon po kinakabahan. <laughs> Kasi... Hindi, ang mas importante ay hindi ka mukhang kinakabahan. Kahit yes, na kabado-kabado yes, ka na. So, bali part lang to ng episode ng buhay mo. <laughs> <laughs> so, maraming salamat Dominic and Vince. Get ready because you're about to go into round two next sa pagbabalik ng Hey Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Althea is leading with 50 points, followed by Rogue with 40 points, Dominic with 20 points, and si Vince naman, kaya pang humabol sa susunod nating round. So ito ang ating opportunity to get to know more about our remaining contestants. So Rogue, ano naman ang ibig mong sabihin when you say you use performance as a means for social change? Kasi hindi pa ako marunong magsula. <laughs> the script writing. So, mas maroon ako magkwento gamit ng katawan. Hindi lang uh, maroon yung ako kumanta at sumayaw. At nung pumasok ako ng UP, um, I delved into theater. Kasi UP rep din po ako. Mm -hmm. And madami kaming mga ano, uh, performances. Hindi lang sa stage, pero sa lansangan din. So, uh, with those um, avenues and platforms, mas nakasa ko yung pagkakwento at pagiging storyteller na rin. Uh, gamit yung katawan at gamit yung ano konteksto kung nasan man yung espasyo. Baka sa susunod, dapat isama mo si Vince Pwede para po. talagang masharpen ang kanyang ang kanyang Ngayon, anong confidence. Tao, confidence building niya. Talagang ano, mamuboost yung pagka main character mo pag nasa theater ka. Pero ang problema, ginagawa. bida siya dapat pala. Yun lang. <laughs> <laughs> Maganda yung ginagawa ng UP Rep kasi talagang accessibility ng theater kahit saan. Thank you, Rob. Ngayon naman si Alfea. So, Alfea, why the switch from Asian Studies to Social Work? I really like learning different disciplines po, different social sciences. And Asian studies po kasi interdisciplinary siya. On the other hand, social work naman, applied social science siya. So, mas, ano, mas nasa ground ako, mas nalalaman ko yung stories from the masses. And ayun, na-apply ko rin naman yung Asian studies sa international social work. 
mga pangit Miss Universe <laughs> pageant ang mga sagot ng ating mga contestants. Si, ano, si Venus Ra, galing sa college ninyo, di ba? <laughs> masters. Sa I, I'm not sure po. Talaga? Hmm. Nag-masters siya doon. Oh. Yes. Now you know. <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> okay, Pwede marami. yung pang-question sa susunod. Sa susunod. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat sa inyo. And now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Laging tandaan, wait to be called before you answer. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you use 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two, question number one. What is the surname of the Indian spiritual leader and social reformer who was bestowed the title Rogue? Gandhi. Who was bestowed the title Mahatma. Gandhi is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What do you call the hereditary blood defect occurring almost exclusively in males that is marked by delayed clotting of the blood with prolonged bleeding that is caused by a deficiency of clotting factors? Ako, paborito tong sickness na to sa mga drama at mga movies. This hereditary blood defect is hemophilia. Question number three. What country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean and located in the world's second largest island has the capital of Port Moresby? The correct answer is Papua New Guinea. Question number four. Which British prince wrote the book Spare Robe? Prince Henry. Prince Harry, also known as Henry, Duke of Sussex, is the correct answer. k -check. Question number five. The former province of Macau was handed over by the Portuguese Republic to what Asian country on December 20, 1999, Rogue? China. China is the correct answer. K check. Ako, Altea, naunahan ka na ni Rogue. Question number six. What bottom part of a shoe has a name that may also mean being the only one? Dominic. Soul. Soul is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number seven. Killian Murphy won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Drama for playing the title role in what? 2023 film about an American physicist. Altea. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. In what northern city can you find the Philippine Military Academy? Rogue. Baguio. Baguio City is the correct answer. Question number nine. Used in some of today's stoves, what do you call the process by which electromotive forces are generated? Rogue. Induction. Induction is the correct answer which uses the process by which electromotive forces are generated in a circuit due to changes in a magnetic field. Okay, check. Question number 10. In January 2024, a massive blackout sent Iloilo and nearby provinces into days of darkness. What island, which includes Iloilo, endured this widespread power outage robe? Panay. Panay Island is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Which young Swedish environmental activist gained fame for working to address the problem of climate change? Althea. Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg also founded a movement known as Fridays for Future in 2018. Greta Thunberg is the correct answer. K check. Last question for this round, question number 12. Which branch of mathematics, whose name comes from Arabic for reuniting broken parts, uses arithmetical operations applied to letters rather than specific numbers? Row. Algebra. Algebra is the correct answer. 
K-Check. And that's it for round two. Ang standing ng mga contestants natin after that second round, well, parang nanggigil talaga si Rogue, who now leads with 180 points, followed by Althea with 90 points, Dominic with 40, and Vince with some catching up to do. Siyempre, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Tandaan, habang may round, may pag-asa. At susunod na ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. After that round, we now have Robe leading at 180 points, followed by Althea with 90, Dominic with 40, and Vince with some catching up to do. And now, hindi pa tapos ang laban because it's time for our ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Dito po, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Let's start the ultimate pagalingan challenge round with Prof. Marion. Okay, I hope you love science. Kung ang mitochondrion ay tinaguri ang powerhouse of the cell, ano ang ginagawa nitong energy molecule? A. Adenosine triphosphate or ATP? Dominic. A. Adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Let me finish the question. B. Carbohydrate. C. Oxygen. D. Fat. E. Protein. Correct answer is this energy molecule, which is a nucleotide that provides energy for the cell. The correct answer is A. ATP. K. Check. Tuwang-tuwa talaga si Prof. Marian pag may nakakasagot ng kanyang mga katanungan. Prof. Bernard. Sana ako din po. This one is uh, on geography. The Tubataha Reefs Natural Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is located in which Philippine province? <laughs> Rome. Um, ARMM? No, sorry. Let me read the choices. Letter A, Palawan. Then, A, Palawan. A, Palawan is K, check. Congratulations, Vince. Uh, Prof. Gigi. Yes, punta naman tayo sa art. So, post-impressionist style of art is characterized by exaggerated perspectives, and vibrant colors often associated emotional and expressive style of painting. So it is distancing itself from the usual capturing of natural lighting of given moments, which was the main concern of the Impressionists. The question is, who among these following artists in the list is not a post-impressionist. A. Paul Gauguin B. George Seurat C. Vincent van Gogh D. Paul Cezanne and E. Pierre-Auguste Renoir The answer is Renoir Pierre-Auguste Renoir did not have both vibrant colors and thick uh, brush strokes to convey feelings and emotions because he was an impressionist. Impressed the call. Okay. Oh, oh, na-impress ang scientist. Yes, science again. Sino ang nakatuklas kung paano namamana ang ating mga katangian o traits sa pamamagitan ng factors o genes? Siya ang sinasabing father of genetics. A. Charles Darwin B. Gregor Mendel Dominic B. Gregor Mendel Naglaga nag-uunahan sila, no? Oh. So si Charles Darwin, Theory of Evolution, di ba? Si Alfred Nobel, alam dapat yun ni Dominic, Dynamite And then si Louis Pasteur, Pasteurization, Vaccination Antoine Van Leeuwenhoek, isang choice yon, father of microbiology. 
Si Gregor Mendel, through his reading of Garden Keys, discovered the basic principle of heredity, which we now call genetics. So the correct answer is Gregor Mendel. Okay, check. Okay. Bernard. Thank you, attorney. The second question is from political science. In the Philippines, what is the term for the lower house of Congress responsible for crafting and passing legislation? Is it A, Senate? No, A, Senate. No, sorry, no. Letter B, House of Representatives. Altea. B, House of Representatives. House of Representatives is Kate Check. Prof. GG. The bamboo organ of Las Piñas started construction in 1816 and it was finished after uh, 80 years, 1824. It is a musical instrument made out of more than a thousand pipes. How many of these pipes are made of bamboo? 102 A. B, 50, C, 902, D, 60, E, 70. Nine hundred two. Fantastic, di ba? Okay. Mukhang yun ata dapat daw ang sagot ni Vince. <laughs> ni Vince? Oh. <laughs> Sayang, mag-go ka na. Okay, Prof. Marian. Physics ba ito? Pero chemistry din. Atoms consist of three fundamental types of particles. Protons, electrons, and neutrons. What do you call an atom? which has more protons than electrons. A, an ion. B, cation. C, isotope. Dominic, uh, C, isotope. Mali. Ah. D, molecule. E, photon. No, B, cation. Ito ay dapat mas madami ang positive. So these are positively charged atoms and ion is negatively charged. So the correct answer is cat ion letter B. K check. This is on logic. What fallacy occurs when your opponent oversimplifies or misrepresents your argument to make it easier to refute or attack? A. The middle ground fallacy. B, argumentum ad hominem. Letter C, argumentum ad ignorantiam. Letter D, strawman fallacy. Or letter E, bandwagon fallacy. Rope. Let, letter D, strawman fallacy. Strawman fallacy, rope. That's Kate check. All of these are informal fallacies, diba? But this one is when you misrepresent your opponent's argument. Prof. GG. Mm, punta naman tayo sa pelikula, Ma'am Gabi, ha? So, in the 2023 Metro Manila Film Festival, ano ang pelikulang tinanghal na best film? Dominic. Uh, Malyavi. Itutuloy ko, mali. Okay. <laughs> mali. A, Rewind. B, Gumbursa. Altea. Firefly. Ang uh, nanalong pelikula na best film ay Firefly. It is a fantasy film written by Angelia Tienza and directed by Zig Dulay. Kay Cheng. I think Mala Malyari was the scariest movie in the film fest. Kaling sa pelikula, punta naman tayo sa biology. Which of the following is not a plant and not an animal? A. Bignay B. Snail C. Mushroom D. Zooplankton or E. Moss Vince B. Snail Mali Dominic Mushroom Ang snail ay animal Okay Ang bignay at um, moss ay mga halaman, plants Ang zooplankton ay very small. 
animals. Mushrooms are fungi and they're neither plants nor animals. So, okay, check. Interesting. Uh, population studies. What demographic term represents the average number of years a person can expect to live at birth? Assuming age-specific mortality rates remain constant throughout life. Dominic, uh, life expectancy. That's uh, that's correct. Life expectancy. Okay, check. What is the fine art technique that captures how the eye perceives objects or figures receding in a two-dimensional space, which is a fundamental part? of linear perspective drawing. A, for shortening. B, blocking. C, grafting. D, casting. E, mincing. Dominic, A, for shortening. For shortening makes forms seem smaller or closer together than they really are. K, check for shortening. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Rogue, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 210 points. We'll see Rogue again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thank you very Dominic, Vince, and Althea. Thank you so much. And thank you also to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Bernard, and Professor Gigi. Thank you very much. I'm Jules Guia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check! K-Check!